Hola a todos. Hi everyone and welcome to our final Spanish lesson of the term. I just want to say well done to all of you for great Spanish so far and for tuning in and for having a really good go and sending your work. I've seen so many lovely examples. I'm really, really proud of all of you. So big thumbs up and a well done from me. This week we are going to be focusing on learning five more colours. So we've already learned rojo, red, Amarillo, verde, so yellow, green, azul, blue, and naranja, orange. So today I'm going to teach you five more colours. Okay, so I'm just going to share with you now my screen so you can have a look at what today's lesson entails. Okay, so lesson five then. Numero cinco. We're going to look at los colores, the colours. So, thinking of the colours that we've already learned, can you have a think about which colours you might be learning today? So, as I said, we've already had red, yellow, green, blue and orange. Which other colours do you think you might need to know? Muy bien, really good if you are thinking of black, white, grey, brown because these are the sorts of colours that we would use to describe animals which is what we have been doing okay it's highly unlikely you'll probably see a blue pig but you might see a pink pig or a black pig or a white cat or a brown dog okay so these are the sorts of ones that you will probably use more often okay so let's have a look at what our learning is for today before we do that let me show you some really good examples of work that was sent in to me this week so you might remember Last week, I asked you to do a scavenger hunt for me to practice our numbers. So if you look at the screen, you'll see some children have took photographs of all the different objects that they found and they've sent them in. And if you look in the top right, somebody has taken their time to work out all of the Spanish maths that I put on the slide. So we were working out um, adding and subtracting using numbers in Spanish. So that was a fantastic effort. I'm really pleased. So last week, you might remember, I also asked you to have a go at a Google form, which was to show me kind of what you understood and what you needed a bit more time on. And I would like to say a big well done to 4TH, who submitted the most entries. And second place was 3MC. So well done to the children in those classes and well done to all of the children who took the time to fill out the form and have a good go. OK, well done. What is our LFPA for today then? So we are learning some more Spanish colours and the focus is to know the words for black, white, grey, brown and pink. The purpose then is to expand our ability to describe objects. So as I said previously, it's unlikely that you'll see something like a blue dog or a green cat. OK, but the likelihood is you will be able to say a black cat, a white cat, a grey rabbit, a brown mouse. These are the things that we are more likely to see. OK, so we're using it in context. The purpose then to expand our describing ability, as we've just said, is because these are the things that you are more likely to be able to say or want to be able to say. And the assessment then, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to recognise, say and understand five new colours. So before we do that, I'd like to revise the numbers from last week. So remember, if you are watching this at home, this lesson is to go at your own pace. So you can pause it at any time. You can rewind it to watch previous slides and have another go. Or you can just join in and we'll carry on. OK, so the revision task, then I'd like you to translate this phone number. And it says, uno, dos, uno, siete, cuatro, dos, tres, seis, uno, nueve. So if you've got a pen and paper at home, you can jot it down. You can write the numbers just as a numeral, as a digit on your paper. Or you can tell whoever you're sat with, if you're sat with an adult or a sibling, what the phone number is. OK, so let's read it again. Uno, dos, uno. Siete, cuatro, dos. Tres, seis, uno, nueve. Did you get it down? Muy bien. So the next task then, I'd like you to listen really carefully and translate this phone number from Spanish into English. 
Okay, so write the digits down. I'll play it a couple of times. And remember, you can always go back and play it again if you haven't quite got it the first two times. Mi numero es siete, ocho, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, tres, uno, uno, nueve. Okay, did you get it down? I'm going to play it again and I'm going to write it down on my book and we'll compare our answers. Mi numero es siete, ocho, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, tres, uno, uno, nueve. Okay, so remember, if you want to have another go, you haven't quite got it yet, pause it here, rewind and listen again. If you're ready, I will show you the answer. So, I had siete, ocho, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, tres, uno, uno, nueve. Okay, so that is your answer. Moving on then, another revision task I'd like you to have a go at is a crossword. So if you have a look, you can see the crossword and there's numbers in the boxes. You have got your clues. So across, it tells you that number three, so three across, is the number four, five in Spanish. If you have a look at the green box on the right, you'll see all of the Spanish numbers are written down for you. So you need to match them up to what you can see on the screen. Okay? so. You can pause that now while you do it, and then we'll move on and have a look at the answers. So the answers then. Have a quick look, see if you got the same. And we'll move on then to start today's lesson. So we're going to start off, as always, with our mirad, look, escuchad, listen, and repeated, repeat. So I'm just going to start sharing my screen. So you can see my flashcards. Okay. So we're going to show all the colours in a circle. So escuchad, listen carefully. Blanco. You say it. Blanco. Repetid. Blanco. Blanco. And I remember blanco because of two things, really. I think of a blanket of snow. So when it snows really heavily and it covers everything, a blanket. And snow, obviously, is white. So blanco, a blanket of snow. And also think of it as being blank when you can't see anything on the page. It's blank. It's blanco. OK? So remember, we're always trying to look for ways to associate and link the words that we are learning so that it stays in our heads. So blanco. Marron. Marron. You say it, marron. Blanco. Marron. Rosa. Remember to roll your R. Rosa. Rosa. And rosa is pink. And I remember it because I think of a pink rose. Rosa. Rosa. Gris. Remember, roll that R. Gris. You say it? Gris. Okay, and I remember gris, one, because it starts with the same letter as in English, grey, gris. And also, I think of the country Greece, and that kind of helps me to make that association with the way to pronounce it. Gris. You say it, gris. And finalmente, negro. Negro. Should we go through them again? Blanco. Marron. Rosa. Gris. Negro. So I'm going to show you a colour now and I want you to give it a thumbs up if I'm saying the right colour. Thumbs down if I'm not. So this is negro. This is rosa. This is blanco. 
Blanco. This is Blanco. This is Marron. Marron, Brian, Marron. This is Gris. This is Negro. This is Blanco. This is Rosa. Remember what we said? Think of a pink rose. Rosa. Rosa. This is Negro. This is Rosa. Blanco. Can you remember what it was? Remember it starts with the sign, sound as in English. Grey. Gris. This is Gris. This is Blanco. Marron. This is Rosa. Negro. Si, this is Negro. Okay. Is this Rosa or Marron? Rosa or Marron? Marron. Perfecto. Negro or Gris? Negro or Gris? Negro. Muy bien. Is this negro, gris, or marron? Negro, gris, or marron? Gris. Muy bien. Is this blanco or rosa? Blanco or rosa? Rosa. What color is this? Blanco, well done, muy bien. So we've had a go now at looking at the colours. So I'm just going to carry on now sharing my screen with you and we'll move on through the lesson. Okay, so we've learned Blanco, Rosa, Gris, Negro and Marron. So what do we need to do next? Let's have a look at how they are spelt. Okay? So remember, when you say rosa, you need to roll your R. Rosa. And the same for gris. Okay? We've got negro is black, blanco, white, gris, grey, marron, brown, and rosa, pink. So what I'd like you to do now is I would like you to find something in your house of these colours. So I'm going to call a colour. You need to find something that matches that colour. So, por ejemplo, for example, if I said rosa, I found a pink hat. Okay, so you can pause the video and you can go and have a look and find something of that colour. Are you ready? Buscad algo gris. Did you find something, Gris? Perfecto. Now I'd like you to buscar algo marrón. Did you find something marrón? Find something brown? Muy bien. Now can you find something negro? Buscar algo negro. Remember to pause this while you're looking. Muy bien. Can you find, buscar algo, find something blanco? Muy bien. And now, can you buscar algo rosa? Muy bien. If you found cinco, five different objects of the different colours, give yourself a pat on the back. Good work. Bien hecho. So, the next part of our lesson then is our thinking task. And it says, the words are all mixed up. 
Can you correct the colour words so that they are in the correct colour circle? Okay, so have a look. All of the words have got mixed up. Can you put them in the right circle? So pause it while you have a think and we'll move on to our answer. Okay, then let's move on. So blanco, remember, is white, marron, brown, rosa, pink, gris, grey, and negro, black. If you have a look in the little speech bubble on the left, it gives you the key for which colour is which. So now what I'd like you to do is have a listen to this song. We listened to it last week as well. So we learned our numbers and our colours. What is listen, escuchad, listen carefully, and tell me which is the only colour mentioned that we have not learned, so we haven't practised as a class. Okay, listen carefully. really good as well for practicing and revising your numbers again so if you know the word sing along Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, blanco, azul, verde, marrón, amarillo es el sol Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, naranja, rosa, rojo, morado, negro, gris, es mi caballo. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, blanco, azul, verde, marrón, amarillo, es el sol. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, 8, 9, 10, naranja, rosa, rojo, morado, negro, gris, es mi caballo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blanco, azul, verde, marrón, amarillo, es el sol. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, naranja, rosa, rojo, morado, negro, gris, es mi caballo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blanco, azul, verde, marrón, amarillo es el sol. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, naranja, rosa, rojo, morado, negro, gris es mi caballo. Ok, okay. so did you have a listen to which colour had not been mentioned before. Did you have a think? So we've already had rosa, we've learnt that today. We've had, what else have we had? Gris, marron, negro, blanco. We knew rojo, Amarillo, verde, azul, and naranja. So which was the only one that we did not have? Muy bien. Really good. If you are thinking of morado, which is a way of saying purple. So let's go back to our slides and we'll move on. Okay. Just waiting for it to load up. So hopefully, while you were listening out for that colour, you were also practising your numbers. Because remember, in Spanish, it's about keeping on practising what we've already learnt to make it really stay in our heads. And that means then, when we get better at Spanish and we learn even more, we've got other things that we can use. Okay, so now, our explaining task. It says, in Spanish, adjectives follow the object, or the noun, in this case, that they are describing. So how would I say, so let's have a look at the picture. How would I say a black dog? So we need the word for dog, 
and then the colour. How would I say a black dog? Do you remember the word for dog? Un perro. And the word for black? Negro. Let's see if you're right. A black dog. Un perro negro. Muy bien. How would I say a grey cat? So what's the word for a cat? Un gato. And the word for grey? Gris. Un gato gris. Muy bien. Great work. And lastly, how would I say a pink mouse? Un ratón rosa. So have a look at the next pictures and the sentences and explain why they are incorrect. So the first one says un ratón negro. So it looks all right. Un ratón negro. We've got the colour after the noun. Have a look at the picture though. Why is it not correct? What can you say? Yeah, I can see a grey mouse, but un raton negro doesn't mean a grey mouse. What does that mean? Un raton negro is a black mouse, so how would I say a grey mouse? Un raton gris. Muy bien. Let's have a look at the next one. So I can see a brown and white rabbit and it says un marron y blanco conejo. Why is that not right? words in the sentence. Where do the colours need to go? Muy bien. They need to go after the noun. So we should say un conejo marrón y blanco. The colours need to go after the word for rabbit. Look at the third picture. I can see a pink snake and it says una serpiente rosso. What's wrong with that? Una serpiente rosso. Muy bien. Rosso isn't the word for pink. How do we say pink? Rosa. Right, so it's spelt incorrectly. So it should be una serpiente rosa. And the last one, un cerdo gris. Looks okay to me, un cerdo gris. But why is it wrong? Look at the picture. What does un cerdo gris mean? A grey pig. But the pig's not grey. What colour is he? He's pink. How do I say pink? Rosa. So how do I say a pink pig? You've got it. Un cerdo rosa. Muy bien. Great job. So now that leaves us with the last task for the lesson and for this half term. So I would like you to have a go at something like this. The task is to identify the number and colour it using the key provided. So you can draw one of these out yourself if you want to. So you can draw out the different numbers and you can assign each number a colour and colour it in. So if you wanted to do this one, you may need to look up a couple of the words using an online dictionary because there are two more numbers here than you have previously learnt. So you might need a bit of help to work out what they are. Or you could have a go at designing and creating your own colour by numbers task. So draw a picture, give each part of your picture a number and assign each of those numbers a different colour in Spanish. Okay, so that is your challenge for over half term. If you haven't done so already, please have a go at your MFL project. This week we are focusing on looking at India. OK, and lots of the extension tasks at the end of the fact file are things that also help out with your character curriculum um, objectives. So have a good look because there might be things on your character curriculum that you can tick off. For instance, one of the challenges is to have a go at making a typical Indian style dish, like a different Indian food and serving it to your family. OK, so I'm pretty sure that on your character curriculum, that will be one of the things you could tick off. OK. So all that's left for me to say is muchas gracias. Thank you very much for watching and great.
work this time. I'm really proud of every single one of you because you've all done amazingly well. Okay, it's been quite a difficult start to the term. And obviously none of us expected to be sat at home, but you are coping really, really well. And I am really, really pleased with all of the work you're sending back to me. So a big well done. Okay, so have a lovely restful half term. And I look forward to seeing you for more lessons after half term. And if you want to find out who won El Gordo, I'm going to be doing that drawing it during the live lesson this afternoon. So your class teacher will contact you if you're not on the live lesson and you have won a prize. Okay, so buen suerte, good luck, and hasta luego. See you later. Adios.